Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Christopher YouTube, and welcome back, kind of, but welcome to Amanda the Adventurer 2. That's four. Two. This is the demo, though. This is just the demo for Amanda the Adventurer 2. I played the first game maybe like a year, year and a half ago. I can't remember exactly, but I absolutely loved trying to figure out all the puzzles that there were in the first game and trying to piece together all the lore and sure enough a sequel was announced a sequel came or the de demo for the sequel came out the music is getting really quick now <laughs> okay so we're gonna get started without further ado let's hop right into this shit oh my god okay um okay I have no idea where we're at or what's happening. But the one thing I do remember from the first Amanda the Adventure game is that anything and everything can be a clue. So I'm just gonna start by clicking on a bunch of shit. Maybe print some papers. Do some homework. Call up baby girl. Hi, I'm KPLS's mascot, Wooly. Hi, Wooly. I feel like something in something in one of these books. Oh. Whoa, 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 what? D... DS3? D53? I'm just gonna set that down for right now. There's nothing in that one. What's the title of the book? I was a... I was a teenage, I was a teenage teenager? <laughs> what? I mean, I guess that's better than being like a kid teenager or an adult. I don't, I don't know what that means. What do you mean by that? <laughs> hey, Margaret, found an odd tape in book returns. Haven't looked into it myself, but I was hoping you could take a look at it when you can. It's in the locked cabinet. You remember the code, right? Also, you might need to take a look at some of the books. I've been told some of them have been tampered with. I swear this is like the fifth one this week. I had to put I had put them aside for you, but I think the new guy accidentally put them back into the library without looking. I hate to ask, but if you got a moment, could you look around the library and see if you can find them? There should be a history of these books in the library database, so use that to help you find out what you're looking for. I didn't read that at all. Don't stay up too late. Have a good night, Sophie. Well, thanks, Sophie. I am sure that nothing bad is going to happen to me while I'm trying to find these books. JP6. I don't know who JP is, but he must be six. Don't let Drake hear about this. CE5? What's the title of this book? Squeegee of Destiny. I have to clean this empire. Scott eight guys. I don't know what the title of that book is. I'm not even going to try. So this was shown in the teaser trailer. This little section here, the kids corner was shown in the teaser trailer when this first was announced. And we didn't really see a whole lot except like a zoom in on the TV screen. I don't have any videotapes just yet. I think I need to find all the books before I start getting into any of that. <laughs> Eight. I feel like I should start collecting these books or writing these numbers down or something. Melon baller. Nothing written in this one. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these books and I'm going to send them up to the front. And then I'm going to interact with the computer. And the computer should tell me what the books I need are and or what the codes mean. Either it's exactly 12 o'clock midnight or there's a hand missing and I have to figure out what time it is based on the puzzle. I told you everything in this game, every little detail is potentially a clue to a puzzle. Read. If you look at the letters, if you switch the letters around, OK, don't freak out, guys. But if you switch the letters around and read, it spells deer. <laughs> So this here could potentially be, I'm gonna, these books, I don't remember which ones had numbers in them. So this one's got a five. I gotta figure out which order they're in. Oh, wait, maybe if I interact with the computer, I'll probably figure something out. Mind blowing. Hello? Hello? Don't do that. 
I'm gonna politely ask you not, at least while I'm my back is turned and my defenses are lowered. Hi, I'm Wendy Worm! Your own personal assistant. Scan a book using the scanner to look up its checkout history. Wendy Worm looks like it would be voiced by Aquafina. December 3rd, uh, I'm gonna guess that's... Oh, wait, 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 this is going, like, from oldest to newest, okay. July 8th, July 28th, 1992, Caroline Hunter, June 4th, 2001, Samuel Googly, Google, Googlemo, Google, I'm gonna stop right there, <laughs> March 4th, 2004, Petrock Uwold, February 15, 2006, Evelyn Phantom Sloth. That's a sick ass last name. Phantom Sloth? Come on, bro! December 3rd, 2012, Anissa Chris. I don't know how that helps me at all, but I'm gonna set that book aside. Oh, this one's got some history. This was checked out not recently, but recenter. Ezekiel Lee from 1995. Carl Emerson, 1998, Gunther Vaughn, 2002, Caroline Hunter, 2003, Ezreal Morrow, 2007, Carson Emerson, oh, it are Carson and Carl, hold on, Chase as well? Hello, hi, 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 I think we're done, I think we're done. I think we're done. What's making all this noise? Is there somebody in my library? I told you punk ass kids to get out of my library. It's past your bedtime. There's something in the vents. They're in the walls. They're in the goddamn walls! I'm just gonna say it now. If there's anybody in the vents, that's kind of sus. Error, book damaged. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So does this one have anything in it? Or is this one of the blank books? That's a blank book. So I think that the books that have the codes in them are going to be, never mind. Frank Peabody, Red Vonix, that's not even a name. Carl Emerson, Justin Wood, Matt Mann, Samuel Guglielmo, Guglielmo, Joseph Hunter, okay. So this one's got a code in it, so I'm gonna toss that right by the other one that has a code in it. And this one, I believe, is the other one? No. So these three books, have codes in them so this one's three five no that one's eight three eight and five three eight five i'm gonna try three eight five first three wait no that's a four digit code am i missing a book i was <laughs> fortunately it was right there so we got three five eight and six i don't even know what order to do it in i am gonna guess that the the title of the books are what order the code is in. So it's in alphabetical order. So I want to scan this one. So that one's A M. G, what is that? G R O G R E. This one would go before G R O. What's this? That's an error. Okay. So we've got eight. I'm gonna input eight first. Eight, six, three, five. Was that it? Let's try the numbers backwards. So five, three, six, eight. No. No. Maybe it's in order of when they were last checked out, which is also gonna be super annoying to keep track of. September 10th, uh, 18, May 12th, 18, June 27th. May comes before June and September. So if six doesn't come first, then whatever the error book is came before that one. So I'm gonna try a six first, not that. How do I know when it's been unlocked? I can click on it? Oh! <laughs> An idiot's guide to finding hidden lore. I need that book. When is he, when is, when is Azriel bringing this book back? I have a new theory. 
I'm going to try and figure out when they were last checked out, each individual book. Grown Attached was last checked out June 27th, 9th, or 2019. 2019. I feel like I should be writing this down somewhere. Greg the Grape, 2018. Am the Person was also 2018, but that was in September. The Squeegee book I found in one of the files from, I think it was the Greg the Grape. Um, one of the last people to check out the squeegee book was somebody named like Delhi or something like that. And they checked it out on August of 2018. So if I go based on the oldest to the most recent of when they were checked out, it should be six, five, eight, three. How do I unlock this thing? One eternity later. Hold on. Hold on, because it's taken me a second, but I think I figured something out. In, okay, this is why there were so many Carl Emerson's and Carson Emerson's chase, because they're trying to fuck you up. Grown Attached has uh, the initials DS in the book. DS and a three. There are two people who last checked out DS. There's Deli Shubel and Deli Shovel. I want to say, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I, f I feel like I'm on to something because there's also Greg the Grape was checked out by a JP. Jonathan Pratt also checked out Greg the Grape too. And then Squeegee, we can't look into Squeegee. Where am I going with this now? I, I, I feel like I'm on the right track, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Jonathan Pratt was the only JP who checked out the Greg the Grape book. And he's also the most recent of these four books to have last checked out. So I think I'm going to assume that three comes first. No, uh, six comes first. And then grown attached. I better get some kind of fucking metal. DS, the last person to check out DS was Deli Shubel in 2018. I don't know what I'm doing. Six, three, five, eight. Oh, 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 fucking finally. I never want to see another book again in my life. <laughs> Let's go ahead and watch this goddamn tape that's going to curse us. Wooly's gone! Wooly! Justice for my man Wooly! Hi friends, I'm Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Sometimes. Well, we can! Can we? Oh boy! At least in our imaginations we can. Got my hopes up, now I gotta kill you. With my magic train! <gasps> If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? Morgan Freeman. Oh, there's an actual answer to this. Uh, Amanda? Do you really think you could do that? I'd love to daydream about all the places <laughs> I could have Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. Okay, wait. Uh, the Eiffel Tower, two dollars. But wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? Let's get some natural sunlight in, you know? It's like we waste electricity when we have the lamps on, so it's always best to just, especially if it's daytime, open the curtains and... Ah, let some natural sunlight in. Get, get that vitamin D. Look at That's that! Much better. Isn't it? Now, let's plan that trip. Okay. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. That'll be $2. Where can I do that? In Paris. Where all of my educated black friends are. <laughs> We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. 
Ooh, it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. Amanda, What's the best what are you doing? Way to open this piggy bank? I can pull up the plug or I can smash it. Let's be safe about it and just pull out the plug. Ah, uh, you're no fun. Hello? What was the point if she was just going to smash it anyway? <laughs> Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! I have five coins. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? One. One. Two. Yay! The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? Um, Isle of Dead Dolls. I'm going to guess this place here because these this looks like the pyramids of uh, Giza. This is the Big Ben. And I'm not sure what this is, but I don't think that's the Isle of Dolls. Wow, planning this trip with you is going to take forever, isn't it? Okay, piss off. I don't... Our next stop is Mexico City. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. Um, anyway, that ticket costs three coins. So let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three. That's it. We're all done. No more coins. Oh, no, that's all our coins. Oh, no, no. I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? Get a job, probably. <laughs> I can sell one of these for some coins. Which one do you think will get us the most coins? Honestly, I'd, I'd probably buy this. I don't really think I'd have any interest in buying either of these two, so I'd say this would sell. You really think I can get coins for that old thing? Why are you being such a bitch? Uh, uh, you have really weird taste in toys. Okay. What's so funny, Mr. Rooster? Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. <laughs> How? Whoa, Wait! I got three coins for Mr. Rooster. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. Is that all it takes? I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? God. This is a history lesson that I don't know, and it's going to make me look foolish. It can't be the, the clock tower because that's four coins and we only have three. So it's got to be one of these two. Oh, this is that, uh, the, this is Rio because that's the Jesus statue, I think. Come on, you know this. I don't, though. Wow, you really don't know anything, do you? We're going to London! A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. Why not just... I might as well not even go anywhere. Let's throw up everything in the room and get some coins Wait for it. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Wow, how now convenient. I have four. Wow. That's enough for our last stop. Oh my God. Um. Uh. Wow, who the heck was that guy? He stole one of your coins. He was going to take my coins. He, it looks like he did. Oh. Good. All four are still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. It's four. We one, have four. 
two, three, four. Oh, hey, it's time to catch my train. Can I hop in with you? Yeah. No? Okay. It's a little selfish of you, Amanda. What if I wanted to ride the train too? I wish I really could go see the world. Uh, wait, 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 that's a code. That's a code. That's a code for something. Shit. That was a code for something. I didn't snap a picture. Ah! Okay. Thank you ever so kindly. I have no idea what I would do without you, Amanda. It gets awfully lonely in here at night. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden deep in these woods. It makes me think about what Okay, which toothbrush do you think I should I know which one you like. The blue one. <laughs> How did you get We shouldn't talk about them. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, friends. And you didn't help me at all. So you'd better find something good for me. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? Okay. Okay. Hell yeah. That was fire. That was a good demo. I I obviously I'm no theorist, right? So I don't know any of the other things that could possibly get me like possible other endings or other results cuz I know there's like secrets and lore hidden all over the place in this. I feel like what we got though was pretty good for a demo and somebody else can try and find all the lore and all the other endings or whatever there is to it. But <laughs> I caved in. I wanted to find out more. So I want to try a few different names when she asks if you could visit anybody. Wooly specifically. I want to see what she says when you type in Wooly's name. Because he's missing from the show now. If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? All right. Uh. We're gonna visit Wooly. <laughs> yeah. If you could find him, I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have. Think about all the places we can go. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? Let's turn on... Let's turn on the lamp. Forget natural sunlight. Forget vitamin D. Who That's needs it? much better. Nobody needs Now, me. let's plan that trip. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug. Or I can smash it. Well, normally the best way to pull, the best way to get money out of a piggy bank would be to pull the cork. But because we're violent little kids, we're gonna smash it. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Good night, Mr. Piggy. A doink. <laughs> that didn't work at all. That's so unnecessary. Let's count them no. together. One, two, three, four, five. I have five coins. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs oh. three coins. That's what she was looking at the last time. Anyway, now I have four. That's enough for our last stop. Okay, this part two, I want to see what happens if I don't help her. Get this weirdo out of here. 
Nah, you got that big dog. That's all you. You're a very strong demonic being. No, no, no! He ate one of my coins! Womp womp. Should have fought back. We don't all get what we want. Wow, you're smart. There's always all kinds of stuff in the sofa cushions. Do we have an infestation problem? We still got two coins left okay, over. Okay, it's time to catch my train. Two coins is enough to go to wherever this is. I also want to try and type in Gretchen's name as well. I don't know how important that name is going to be, but I want to I want to try Gretchen. This is fun, I guess, but I wish I really could go see the world. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can't pick that up again. Damn it! Ah! I know which one you like. The red one. The blue one. No! I'm gonna try typing in Gretchen's name, and then if that doesn't do anything, we're done with the video. Right, we got G R E T C H. No, no, no. H E N. No Gretchen. We're not gonna visit Gretchen. Uh, okay. What was the name? What was the name of the girl who the show was based on? It wasn't Amanda. There was, or was it? What was the name of the guy? What was the name of her dad? It was Rebecca. Let's try Rebecca. Do you really think you could do that? Mm. She said the same thing I said when I typed in Amanda. I'd love to do Damn it! About if any of you know of anything that I can put into, uh, you know, who we would go visit, or if there's anything that I can click on, or anything that I can interact with that'll give me some different results, let me know down in the comments because I am very interested to see what else I can find out of this. I may come back to this demo. I don't know, it's a demo, so I got other things to play other than just demo. Let me know if you know of anything that I could try and I'll probably get back to this game again soon. If you wanna see my last video, which was the coziest game of the year called Simpler Times, I'll have that link somewhere around here. I recommend checking that out next. And then I'll also have the playlist for the Amanda the Adventurer one videos uh link somewhere around here as well i'm gonna get out of here i love you guys stay safe out there take it easy and big buddy out